the bad reputation it has. There's no fucking way I'd be doing that. <laughs> Um, Harley, there's a someone on the phone here. Sorry to disturb you. Redback Spider moves, Harley speaking. Redback Spider, location please. Dover One Park, we're the same suburb. Yep, give you two minutes, mate. See you then, don't panic. Redback Spider, Dover One Park, it's local. Let's get on it. I'm never going to try and kiss it. I'm just going to let it put it on the ground gently. No, and, uh, go. We'll leave it alone. There we go, little Bella. There we go. So we've got a redback spider here. We're going to see how dangerous they are. How dangerous this is the most probably one of the most dangerous spiders in the world in terms of fatalities. And so I'm provoking. If I do get bitten, it'll be my own fault. I can sort of see the redback doesn't really want anything to do with the stick or me. It's a bit like just leave me alone. Quite a camouflage spider. Very striking. She's getting a little bit aggressive here, just defending herself a bit. Oh, here we go. Alright, so now will the redback bite me? If it bites me there, I'm probably going to die. So, does the redback spider deserve as... There's no fucking way I'd be doing that. <laughs> Welcome to Viola Park, mate. I love all these tough guys on the internet who uh, think they're hardcore, but would they do this? So this is a, one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. Why is its backside so fat? Because it's, uh, it's a female. Where are you going to put it? Oh, I'm just thinking where to put it. So they don't bite unless they feel threatened. My nails are yellow from eating oranges, if anyone's asking. So it's just happy just sitting there, you know? So yeah, this is how you remove it. What I'll do is I'll just put her in this cup here and we'll, we'll put her under the fence where she uh, can be a bit of a redback and not get hurt and she can eat her bugs to heart's content. Easy done. Bricks here, this is great redback habitat. What I'll do is I'll put her transplanter into there. Let's put her up here. And uh, this is going to be a good spot for a little transplant redback. Oh, she's going to touch my hands again. Oh, she's biting me. So we can just put her just here. There we go. Off you go, darling. And that's a really good little habitat there. It's dry, redbacks like dry conditions. Oh, there she goes on the grass. She's probably a little bit dazed. They're very awkward out of their web. And once they get into that web, they're very uh, gymnastic-like. So this is a great spot. There's earwigs and heaps of bugs you can settle on down with. And uh, it's a nice dry area. We'll let her find a little, find her uh, place and good to go. Come back a few minutes later. She's just, you just sort of see her there, just chilling out. So she'll build a web tonight and uh, give you some updates on how the progress is going. That's the ribback spider done. It is a very, very docile spider. It's very timid. You can use a stick, you can use a piece of paper, you can use a toilet roll, you can use a pick. Well, you can do whatever you want to do, use a shovel. The spider can't jump, it can't sprint. There's no need to panic. You don't have to be like shaking. Just have your mouth open, put a hat on in case other spiders drop on your head, and uh, just stay relaxed.
they can't jump, they can't sprint, there's nothing to panic, all right? It's just a little spider. Use a stick, use a cup, put it in, you're good to go. Throw over your neighbor's fence, give it your ex-girlfriend, whatever you want to do, you're good to go. Don't panic, it's just a little spider, all right? Spiders don't give you cancer. Pesticides, gives you cancer, gives your dog cancer, gives your frog cancer, gives your cat cancer. Don't panic, it's organic, it's a spider. Get a stick, get a cup, get a bucket, get a piece of paper, get a man to help you, or be a man, and get it done. No need to squash it.